Welcome to Minity Maths. Today, we are going to explain our solutions to the puzzles in last week's video. Be sure to check it out if you want to have a go at these on your own. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for weekly maths videos. So, let's get started with the first puzzle. A farmer wants to build a rectangular fence around his field using 100 meters of fencing. He decides to maximize the area enclosed. What dimensions should the fence have and what is the maximum area it can enclose? Pause the video now if you want to work it out yourself. The perimeter of a rectangle can be given by P equals 2L plus 2W, where L is the length and W is the width. The total perimeter equals 100 meters. We can simplify the equation to length plus width equals 50. So, we know we need the length and width to add up to 50 meters. To solve this, you can use either trial and error or optimization. Here, we have used trial and error to test out the different dimensions for the length and width to discover that when using a length and width of 25 meters, it will create an area of 625 square meters. This is the maximum area we can find. Puzzle 2. I am thinking of a two-digit number. The sum of its digits is 12, and if you reverse the digits, the new number is 36 less than the original number. What is the original number? Pause the video now if you want to figure it out for yourself. Let's use algebra to solve this. We'll use variable x for the tens digit and the variable y for the units digit. Let's write out the clues in the question algebraically. We can express the number as 10x plus y. We can also state the sum of the digits as x plus y equals 12. We know that when we reverse the digits, it equals 36 less than the original number, so we can write it out like this. Notice we now have 10y plus x as we've reversed the digits. We can simplify this to y minus x equals minus 4. Now we have two equations we can solve simultaneously. x plus y equals 12 and y minus x equals minus 4. To solve these simultaneous equations, we can add them together to eliminate the x variable in order to solve for y. Now we know that y equals 4. We can substitute the value for y into our original equation for clue 1. x plus y equals 12. This will enable us to find out what the value of x is. Now we know the values for x and y, we can figure out what the original number is using our expression for the number, 10 times x plus y. So, the original number is 84. Puzzle 3. An infinite hotel has infinitely many rooms, all of which are occupied. One night, a new guest arrives. How can the hotel accommodate the new guest without turning anyone away? Pause the video now to solve it yourself. Check out our video about the infinite hotel paradox for a visual demonstration of the solution. Firstly, assign a number to each room. 1, 2, 3, and so on. Shift each guest to the next room. For example, move the guest in room 1 to room 2, the guest in room 2 to room 3, and so on. Room 1 is now vacant and can accommodate the new guest. Finally, let's look at how to solve puzzle 4. You have 10 coins that look identical, but one of the coins is slightly heavier. You also have a balancing scale, but you can only use it three times. 
How can you identify the heavier coin? Pause the video while you work it out for yourself. There are various methods you can use to solve this. Let's look at one possible solution. Firstly, divide the 10 coins into two groups of five. For the first weighing, weigh the two groups of five coins to compare. For the second weighing, weigh four coins, two on each side, from the heavier group identified in the first weighing. If the scales are balanced, the fifth coin that you didn't weigh is the heavier one. If the scales didn't balance, you will need a third weighing. Compare the two coins from the heavier group identified in the second weighing. You will have now narrowed it down to the heavier coin. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Minity Maths.